Hello fellow collectors, Jambo Comics with some more goodies for you to look at today. A uh, so, couple of things I've got off eBay. Uh, some new books I got from the uh, L LCS, excuse me. And uh, some friends of mine have asked me to show the most valuable comic in my collection. So we'll do that today. And let you see what we got. I uh, just picked up a couple of uh, the facsimile book, books, excuse me, uh, from the LCS. Uh, I think everybody's picked this one up also. Just the detective there, the first appearance of Batgirl. Just thought I'd pick it up. And didn't have the, uh, the poster inside. So I don't know if they did that to keep people from taking it out and putting it in their uh, original copy that was missing the uh, poster or what. But yeah, I didn't have it. So it's kind of odd, but still very cool. Glad to have that. Read that. It was pretty fun. And got this to read again. The Wolverine miniseries there. Uh, it's number one, the Frank Miller. That was a good story. Very good. Got this off eBay. Very glad to have it. Beautiful book in really nice shape. Elvira's House of Mystery. I mean, come on. Look at that. That's amazing. Beautiful black cover. Mr. Dave Stevens art. And... I like his version of Elvira there. It's very cool. Kind of the Halloween special there. So she's riding on the broom, kind of sideways. Very cool. This was in very nice shape. Got it very cheap because, you know, I don't like to spend money. So, yeah, I was very happy with that. Good eBay pickup. Thank you, eBay. Very cool. All right, and this next book I'll show you guys is my most valuable book. I've had it in my safe. I don't have many books in there anymore. But uh, this one has just kind of been sitting in there. And I got this a long time ago. Well, it seems like a long time ago. Uh, 19, about 1990. And I won't put it off anymore it's from uh, 1962 August I believe Journey into Mystery number 83 first appearance of Thor always been a Thor guy he's always been my favorite Marvel character Thor and the Surfer and the Fantastic Four always my favorite Marvel guys um, got this in like I said about 1990 I'd gotten out of comics uh, because I was so cheap, uh, when they got to be like a dollar cover price, I was like, stop buying them. And I was messing around in Lexington, Kentucky, it's pretty close to where I live. Uh, one day during lunchtime, my job and I came across the comic shop. Well, I thought, well, I'll check it out. You know, I hadn't been in one in quite a while and, uh, met a man in there by the name of Bill Florence. Bill was a really cool guy. He's passed now, but he was a really cool guy and had a bunch of Silver Age. He didn't have this at the time, but he had some Silver Age and uh, was uh, very excited about comics and all the new stuff they were doing with it in, at that time and uh, got me back into comics, basically. And uh, I started a folder with Bill and uh, started getting some new books then which was pretty terrible books, but I ended up getting a lot of Silver Age and things like that from Bill, too, and I was very happy with those. He came into a collection about a year or so after that that had this and some other books in it, which I got the 84 that was with this issue also, uh, Journey into Mystery 84, and all these books were in really nice shape, and at the time... I gave $1,200 for this, and that was a lot of money to me at the time, 
And fortunately for me, Bill was so cool, uh, he let me pay on it. So I'd pay him like a couple of three hundred dollars a month until I got it paid off. And uh, I think I even doubled up a couple of months there because I was in a hurry to get it. And uh, there was a lot of money, you know, for a book back then. And it's in really good shape. I mean, uh, I've kind of been checking it out and uh, I always thought it was very fine. So, you know, I kind of graded it and looked at it pretty harsh. And yeah, it's like a uh, 7.0 or 7.5. So, yeah, it'd make it pretty valuable today. And uh, yeah, I was so glad to have that. Always my favorite book. Uh, of course, you know, I liked FF1 and, you know, I'd love to have a amazing fantasy 15 but you know it was never my favorite character but uh thor was always my favorite character and just liked it uh thought it was really cool and so glad bill did that for me ended up getting a bunch of other stuff for him he bill came into some collections you know he came into a golden age collection i got a bunch of golden age off of him and between that and my friend uh, brian powell that i met uh few years after that uh so what kind of got me into golden age uh so i started buying a bunch of golden age and wasn't concentrating so high uh, so hard on the uh, silver age stuff but uh you know still love some things like this i mean that's fantastic i mean what's not to like about that and uh even brought my old uh true believers number one out here just to you know this is what i read and stuff when i feel like hey yo I want to read that story again, or how'd that go, and try to remember it and stuff, but, uh, yeah, just very glad to have that, the most valuable book in my collection, I think, right now, so, that's what it is, guys, so, and show you a couple more things, but, yeah, that's, very happy to have that, uh, a couple things I got off eBay, I got this in a lot, uh, not was kind of beat and tore up and it was cheap that's why i got it you know you know how it works this is from uh 1957 this is marine battles marines in battles number 17 and uh you know it's kind of cool for an old atlas like that so 1957 it's after the golden age but you know still an old atlas so that's why we got that and this one is uh, from 1946, November, is True Comics. Nothing great about those. Just had an elephant cover there. JD, I thought about you, buddy. Seen those elephants. And the book was super cheap because it's beat. But I'll check it out and read it. This one I was very, very happy to get. Uh, had a beautiful cover on it. And uh, presented very well. A lot of bright colors. I got this off eBay. It's a uh, Jumbo Comics number 61. And has some beautiful art on the front by Art Soth. And the way he drew Sheena there, amazing. Fantastic. I like the two-piece uh, costume he put on her there instead of the old traditional one-piece. And uh, she's... Saving the kid here from the Panther. And this was a 1944 copy. Had the one staple which was pulled. But still like I said nice cover. Had the old Red Cross symbol down there. So it was still during war time. But uh, a little bit of a roll there. But probably try to straighten that out. Fantastic cover. Bright colors that really pop. Glad to put that in the Jumbo Collection. Mark that one off the list. And that much closer to finishing that thing up. I don't know if I'll ever have the first five or six. But hey, you know. You never know. And I'm surely not going to trade this off to get them. But anyway. Yeah, just glad to have that. Appreciate you guys stopping by to check things out. Hope you're all doing well. Um, hit that like button pound that subscribe button i appreciate it if you haven't done it already leave a comment i'll get back with you guys i appreciate that too take care you have a good day thank you